This cross-stepped gable and belfry is all that remains of the restored parish church of St John, erected in 1692. Within a comparatively few years, however, it was decided to protect the building from the weather, an additional gable should be added, and that was done on the southwest side of the building. It was erected in 1729. Two years later, the clock and clock mechanism were added and inaugurated on Hogmanay 1731. So here we are in the clock tower with the clock mechanism. Fairly rudimentary and basic, probably made by a local blacksmith or possibly one of the millwrights. It's no less impressive for being basic given that it's kept the village on time for 300 years. On the right hand side we have where the minutes and seconds are controlled and on the left is the governance for the hours. If the clock is running fast, simple thing to do is stop the pendulum, leave that for the amount of minutes or time that's required to bring the clock onto time and then start the pendulum up again. So for adding minutes to the time, dislocate the upper spindle which stops the minute hand, the second hand and then rotations on the lower spindle for the required number of minutes. Relocate the upper spindle and the clock has been adjusted. As we approach the hour, this lever is raised, in this case out of the three o'clock position where it is, and awaits the clock getting to four o'clock. As the clock strikes, this lever moves across from the three o'clock slot into the four o'clock slot, going one, two, three, four. So when this clock was initially installed in Hugmanay 1731, the mechanism with the weights would have run all the way down to the ground level within the tower. And that's the way it was. So that would have been a seven day mechanism. So it would have only needed to be wound up once in seven days. But then at the start of the Great War, every village was required to have a mortuary. So it was decided that the bottom section of uh, Old Simon would be sort of roomed off uh, with a, a false ceiling and a, and a platform area um, to allow that to become the village mortuary. This then stopped the weights running all the way down. So what we now have is the weights go down to the platform and it's now roughly a three and a half day a week mechanism. So myself and the other volunteer winders, we try to get a wind and a correction three times a week. So twice during the week and once at the weekend. The reason for the correction is that it's an old mechanism, as you can see, it's a very, very simple mechanism, and it has a life to itself. If it's cold, then it runs slow. If it's warm, then Old Simon runs fast. Now, we've tried regulating it with the um, adjustment on the pendulum, but it's such a fine adjustment. Just a tiny little bit of a turn on the screw can make a difference of minutes a week. So what we've got is we've got it set up with the help of Mark Crangle from the Cumbria uh, clock company. He set it up so that it's as accurate as we can get it. So if it does change because of the weather, then it's up to us when we're doing a wind, we just do a simple correction. If it's running slow, we stop the pendulum, wind it forward a little bit. If it's uh, running fast, then we just stop the pendulum and we just count the minutes until we've got a correction. And that's the way we work old Simon. The clock's running three minutes slow. Okay, plus three minutes. Right, just stop the pendulum. And what I do is I take a good hold of this so it doesn't run away from me, disconnect the mechanism, allow that to run forward by three notches, which is three minutes, make sure that's fully engaged, and then just restart the pendulum. And the pulse of the village starts once again. Now you think how many times that pendulum has 
ticked and talked since Hugmanay 1731. That's an interesting calculation. 